Hi, this is Kai from New Electronic Frontier and today I'm going to show you how to update your Denon DJ X1850 mixer. So first fire it on and check which firmware version you have. If you have registered with DenonDJ.com, you anyways get notification emails if you have set this up. Then go to DenonDJ.com. There, search for the downloads area. And there you get overview of all like firmware. So you go to 18, X1850, you see the info there at the back where you see what's in the firmware and then you have the PC and Mac versions of the firmware. So download it. I'm on a Mac here. So wait a second, it's not too big. And double click on it and the image will open. So I'll get, let's get rid of the window and make a double click on the updater. Uh, there comes a security check. You can say OK because you know the Denon website, it's trustworthy. So you open it up and it says open uh, new firmware installer. So if you have not plugged in a, a device, it, it tells you to plug in one and scan again. And it checks for the firmware on the device and of the image themselves. So. Let's click on the next button. So you see now a list of instructions. So power off the X1850. Um, first step, then you use a USB one. That's important, not the two, the one with a standard USB-A cable. You connect the other end to your computer, obviously. In my case, uh, via an adapter to USB-C. Then you press the tap, back and FXQ buttons and power on the device again. And you wait a second because now it's going into um, update mode. And if you leave the buttons, it, it tells you update firmware and you have to use the select FX and press it on OK. And now it enters the data receiving mode. <clears throat> and if you've done that, you can go back to your computer and press next. So the device is ready to receive the data from the firmware update. And if you click on next, it starts updating it. However, it, it really took seven minutes for me. So now this is time lapsed. And you, you see you also nicely on the device, uh, the level meters are used for displaying the progress of the firmware update um, parallel to the little window on your computer. So it's actually really seven minutes. This is just time lapsed. Um, I don't need you to wait seven minutes, right? And when it is done, the device reboots on itself. You don't have to do anything. Um, and in the boot menu, then it shows you now it's on version 1.2. And only thing you have to do, going back uh, to your computer and just click next and finish. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Not a lot of things can go wrong. And keep it updated and have fun. That was Kai from New Electronic Frontier. See you soon. Bye bye.